Hello and welcome. This is episode number 13 of my Let's Play Solo Survival series. I'm Honeysuckle, and today I do have a fun project planned out. The last couple of episodes we've built my food storage, my stone storage, and today I want to work on wood storage. So, so far, I've just been throwing wood in this chest and saplings as I collect it up. But today, I'm building my wood storage, and I'm going to put it right over here in this hill. I already have my little workspace set up. And this is something I've seen in other episodes that I believe would be fun to do. I've never actually built one in any of my worlds before, so this is going to be fun. I did kind of draw it out on paper to get an idea of what it's going to look like. So right here is going to be the door. But we're going to line it up first, like this. And I'm just looking at my graph paper here because I kind of drew it out on my graph paper to get an idea of how it was going to look and to get an idea of how much materials I would need to do this. So I'm hoping this is going to turn out good. Just bear with me. It's a little hard sometimes for me to concentrate on talking while I'm trying to count and build something, but I'm going to do my best here. So I have three up and I believe one more here. And then I'll start coming over with slabs. So I'll put one, also one on top there, two. This is actually going to be another stair. And a slab, and I probably shouldn't have put that top stair, but you can see it's going to be a big circle here. So let me go ahead and do this side. I might have to remove that one. So I'll go up two, like this, and I place my planks, two of them. Then I want another stair here, and then start coming back over to the top. And yes, that's going to be in the way. So I'll just remove this one real quick, put this one down here, then I can put it back on top. And that should be the circle. That looks about right. Then I want to come back in one more. Just to give it a little bit of depth here. I think I'm going to end up running into the outside a bit. That's all right. Let's just finish clearing it out. See what we've got going on here. I've already done a little bit of terraforming here, so if I have to go back and add some grass on the top, that's fine. A little bit hard to reach that top row. All right, let's see here. We just kind of want to mirror this, except I do want to... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I see coal and I have to grab it. I'll have to fill all this back in. Be 
go ahead and do that. Just to get out of here real quick. Okay. I'm trying to remember how the inside went. I know I want to do another smaller circle here around the door. And then I think I'll follow this up around here. I hope that's right. Nope, that doesn't look right. right. Let's do the bottom here. I probably should have practiced this a bit more on my own world first instead of just jumping in and doing it. No. Wrong spot. Oh, that's a pain. There we go. Let me just go up here to the top and fix what's showing. This was the mistake, I believe, right here. I'm just going to fill this in with dirt. I believe that's fine on both sides. Except for right there and right, oops, there and right in there. Let's see what this side looks like. Okay, looks good. I'll get rid of this. Oh, should have left my shovel out. Whoop, there was another hole. About this side, yep. Okay. Now then, the inner circle here. I'm gonna come up with another plank on both sides, and then I want another stair on top, like that, and the same thing over here, like that, and. Okay, trying to get in here, like that and that, put another stair on top like that, and that, and then there, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and replace this cobblestone with some dirt, there we go, and we'll dig out for the door. That will need to be replaced. All right now, did I make a door yet, or no, I did not. So let's make a spruce door. Because I think that will fit a little bit better. Then, instead of having this dirt, I was thinking about replacing it with birch and oak. So let's go ahead and put the door and the slabs and stuff up. Stairs. Let's grab some oak and some birch. I'm trying to decide. I think right here, really. I'll do the oak because this will show on the inside and I was going to do the inside in oak. Okay. And then the outside of the big circle I will do in birch.
probably really should be using my shovel for this. Let's sleep real quick. Then I'll get my shovel out. Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty good. Alright, let's get back up here. Alright, let's throw some birch up here. Come on, get on up there. Alright, clear out some more dirt. Right here. And that one I believe too will be seen. Right. It looks pretty good, I think. So that is the entrance into my hobbit hole. There we go. And then inside, I'll just hollow it out. Okay, just trying to figure, I know I wanted at least one higher. Broke my shovel. To make me a new one. Now, in case you have noticed, I do have a few enchanted tools. See my. Do have a diamond um, pickaxe with unbreaking three, efficiency four. I do have enchantments on all my armor. I did find a zombie spawner and set up a mob trap, and I've been getting a lot of experience by AFKing there. And I have an enchantment table set up right there with it. Okay, now. I had an idea of what to do for the hallways. So let me grab some oak stairs. Maybe some oak slabs. We'll see how this looks. Now, if you've seen any of the Hobbit movies, then you know that the Hobbit holes are actually kind of rounded because they're little tunnels. So I was thinking of doing something like that for the walls. Of course, it is going to make it kind of crowded through here. Let's go ahead and just see how it looks. If we just finish out this part. Okay. And of course the roof. Turn around there, mouse, cooperate. So, this would be the little hallway. I don't think I like it being that narrow. I think we need to move it one more back. So let me try that and see how it looks. Let's move everything back one more. Yeah, that's where I was 
digging out my coal earlier. Don't worry, that'll be covered up. Okay, so stairs. And, yeah, see, that's going to be covered. I wonder, will that show on the outside? Yes, it will. And where's my birch there? I'm not sure if I want to like that. How about that one? Okay, that one won't show on the outside. What about that one? Whoops. Let's look. That one. Okay, that one doesn't show either. It's just that one right there, I guess. Okay, it might not be so bad once we put the stairs up. So let's just go ahead do this. Not sure what I like about that birch showing. I might have to do something different. But let's go ahead and just try this. Okay, let's move everything back one. These. Okay, then the planks back here. Stairs above and below. Alright, we'll have to replace these. Is that top one. Okay, what do we think of this? I like it being bigger, but I'm not real sure I like that birch showing in the corners. So, anyway, this is the basic pattern I'm going to do. Let me go ahead and play with it and extend the hallway down a bit. And I will be back in just a bit. Okay, and I'm back and just wanted to show you what I have gotten done so far. I did decide to just turn the stairs here at the very front and that does cover that one birch plank that I didn't like. And I put glowstone right here in the middle. It covered it with carpet and I'll just have carpet run down the middle. And same thing in here, I put glowstone under this carpet. This is going to be the oak storage room and I did put half slabs right here at the top so I can stack chests three tall on each section side by side and I'll just have logs and planks stairs slabs miscellaneous I'll have them all in there I do need to finish up the roof and since this is the oak storage room, I have the oak logs as the pillars and also use the oak log in the walls and floor. I think I'm going to do another one over here for the spruce, the dark oak, the birch, then maybe jungle and acacia later on. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do each room with its own like the jungle planks and spruce planks for the spruce room etc or if I'm just going to keep it all oak with the pillars made of each particular wood um, so I will work on that and finish this up and hopefully by the next episode I'll have this finished so I can put my wood in here and I'm probably just going to go straight on back with three rooms on each side for the all the wood because I believe there is six different types of wood. Then maybe at the very, very end down there, straight off the end of it, I'm going to have my precious metals vault. I'll put the diamond and emerald and special armor and tools, get all that put up back there. So... 
I'm hoping to do something slightly different with that room so that it will look pretty good. And I'm hoping it will all look really good by the time I get done. I believe this is ended up being quite a long episode, so I'm going to go ahead and just end it here. And I'll finish up this area off camera. And the next episode, I believe we're going to go ahead and tour the nether that I found so far. I did find a nether fortress that I have not yet explored. So I want to do that. And just show you my nether transportation setup. Because it does make traveling around to the different areas a lot safer and faster. But that will be next episode. So until next time, bye!